best kept secrets in Lexington. Blues guitarist TD. Sit back, relax, enjoy the sounds of TD and students, get your guitars out. You will receive a fabulous free blues lesson from TD Young in Lexington, Kentucky. Historical Lyric Theater and Cultural Arts Center survived the days of segregation and now majestically dons the corner of 3rd and Elm Tree Lane, just yards away from the blues at TDD's Lounge. My name is TD. TD Young, I'm a blues player. Uh, I started playing the guitar when I was about between 13 and 14 years old. I learned from an older gentleman name was Hanson. He used to sit on the edge of a railroad track and he used to play the uh, guitar. And uh, I picked up from him, learning a couple of little blues tunes, and then from there I started here a group. My brother and I joined. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I ain't talking about these fellas, you know, down on them. I mean, playing a good band. He said, I try. And he came over and we started working with him, uh, George, you know, my brother. Okay, uh, okay. Uh, uh, started working with his, his, his bass uh, scales. And then. There's then no getting away from scales, huh? Doesn't matter whether you're a student in elementary, middle school, high school, or professional guitarist, it still comes down to the scale. You still have to scale. The scale. The scale. The scale.
how about you show our students how to build a simple blues progression and how you can add just one note here or there and start beginning a solo. Nothing really technically difficult, but so the young viewers have an opportunity to watch a professional blues artist to know how he builds his solos. And I know we spoke earlier in our interview, you said much of this is still based around scales. There's no getting around scales even for professionals. So could you demonstrate to our young viewers how to build a blues progression and to build a very simple solo on top. In order to be a uh, start off just a, a simple blues pattern, you might use a one, four, five. And it, it, it consists of a uh, this will be your one, which will be a G major, C, that'll be your four. That, from, from that point on, you would. Rhythm. just starting off uh, when you first starting off playing the guitar and some people will hit their G chord like that some people will hit the G chord like this I hit mine like this because it gives it more of a, a, a color to it to your chord as you get into your music and you start progressing a little bit more same song Thank you. 
thank our special guest, Mr. T.D. Young, for sharing his talents with us and telling us all about the blues and how it came about in his life. Hopefully, young students, you learned something about the blues progression and that scales, there's no getting away from those scales, regardless of what style of music you play. So, get busy, start practicing, and we will see you. Thank you for tuning in.